How did you know this event was successful? What are some of the things that that you saw or that goes on in your organization post event? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, like the last night of the event, again, it was this huge Coachella party. And I just looked around and like watched everyone watch this surprise drone show that was happening. And that's when it kind of hit me like, wow, this is an event that really has impact both personally and professionally on people, right? Hopefully they came, they learned, they're like more of a fanboy or girl of Sixth Sense. But above all, we aim to create experiences so that people want to come back year over year. So I think that's like a huge measure of success, although it's not measurable per se. And then the sourced and influenced pipeline, like that's how we judge true success of the event. And we have dashboards in Salesforce. We have this, what we call WinWire in Slack. And so just watching that kind of WinWire Slack channel light up with upsells, like as a direct result of the event, like they'd be like, shout out to Breakthrough. Like, this is why we got this deal. Right. And that's, that kind of makes it all worthwhile. And we're still today. I mean, we're only less than two months post-event, we continue to watch and track our source and influence pipeline and watch those numbers continue to grow. So I really like the wind wire of all that there. Cause I think, look, I think obviously you have to track sales and you know, there's some certain things that just have to happen, but that idea that wind wire, that's a Slack channel that's throughout the company and you're seeing the success unfold as it comes, I think is something, one of the better usages of like momentum creation inside of a company that I've heard from an event, because I think ROI, return on experience and what's going on in events, it's tricky. It's not as simple as spending $20,000 a month on Google ads and then tracking that back to a landing page and knowing when that converts, even that is not hundred percent accurate, right? Because you have people that Google search you organically because they listen to you on a podcast, but then they click on your ad because they're hitting the sponsor button by go on all day about that. But events is just tricky. There's so many layers to what happens, but creating that momentum inside the organization and people seeing this came on the back of it. So maybe it was a person, you know, for a trade show or another event that they're in your pipeline, but they haven't bought yet. But then they were just at your booth or just at your event, but now they bought. You expedited that process. I mean, a hundred percent events expedite pipeline. So I think having something like that wind wire Really, really cool. I think yeah. that's awesome. And it also like, I feel like facilitates buy-in across like the sales and CS, yep. right? Like people that were like, yeah. why should I get my customer to go to breakthrough? Like they see these deals coming in and they're like, oh, that's why, right? Like that's why I should prioritize getting my customers and my accounts to this event. So I think it's a, it's a win-win. 